Hey Collective Hey, welcome to Chakra Energy Readings. Thank you for stopping by. I am Queen Shadi. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the subscriptions, the views, as well as the shares. I appreciate all of the love. I am here only as a vessel to facilitate a positive connection with our ancestors and spirit guides. I ask that the ancestors and spirit guides of pure love and light guide us on a healing journey of our chakra energy that will ultimately bring us into understanding and complete oneness with all. We thank you God for our ancestors and spirit guides and we give you the utmost gratitude for our being. Thank you, Air Signs, for being with me today. We're going to do your reading. We're going to get started with our wheel. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you all are enjoying your week so far. Let's see what messages we have coming out for you. If you are new to the channel, the reason I do the wheel is it helps me to um, hear more directly from the ancestors on the um, the differences that's in the chakra, the imbalance, imbalances in the chakra. Um, so the wheel helps me kind of understand um, what the reversals. All right, so let's get started. The first card we have out is spiritual awakening, and that is in the reverse. The next card we have out is I am presence. That is in the upright. Both of these cards here do represent the crown chakra. Next card we have out is Soul Healing, and that represents the Soul Star Chakra, which is six to eight inches above our head. Next we have Grounding, and that is represented by Mother Earth Chakra, which is six to eight inches below our feet. Next we have Rebirth, also uh, representing Mother Earth Chakra, and that is in reverse. Next, we have Life Purpose that is in the reverse, representing the Throat Chakra. And lastly, we have Love, which is in the reverse, representing the Heart Chakra. On the bottom of the deck, we have uh, Creativity, Inspiration, and Angels and Guides in the reverse. Right, air signs. So let's see what you all are dealing with here. Um, looks like you do have the I am presence and soul healing in the upright. Soul healing being represented by the soul star chakra and I am presence being represented by the crown chakra. So um, that is telling me you are receiving direct uh, communication from your ancestor, spirit guides, God, source, uh, whichever you like to call it. You are receiving um, that communication um, that is allowing you to live in your present moment. Uh, you are grounded. Um, you are grounded and that is allowing you to hear and receive the messages but with spiritual awakening rebirth life purpose and love and rebirth that tells me that you uh, possibly are not quite either understanding or getting the messages clearly um, creativity, inspiration, angels and masters also being in the reverse saying that 
Um, and that's what I'm feeling that you are getting, you are directly connected, is there, is there for you to receive, um, but there's a blockage. There is a blockage. Um, it's there to re be received. And the reason I say that is because the Angel of Masses card is out here. So it's as if it's right there. We look at the Spiritual Awakening card and you can see, if you would imagine, you get an energy. And that's typically how it comes to us in energy form. You get an energy downloads, um, but it's kind of stopping right there. Um, something that's blocking it. The creativity in reverse, inspiration as well as in reverse, um, and the love is in reverse. So there's something that is blocking your connection, your healing, your awakening. And either it can be you or it can be outside forces. So it just um, depend on your situation. You wouldn't know where you fit in in this situation. But that is what I'm seeing. As if you are here, you are present, uh, you have connection. There is no karmic debt. There is... Um, Nothing that you are that is standing in your way, but there is some kind of blockage. Either you're not listening or there's outside interference um, to you receiving uh, messages and knowledge clearly as creativity and inspiration. That's what I'm getting. Let's use the Oshus and Tarot to, to get some clarity on this. This did come out, and I don't know why I always do that, um, but it did come out in the reverse. And the reason they come out in the reverse, I guess if I was going to be fair about it, is because I have one upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those around. So it looks like... Um, As I said, you are ready. You are ready to receive this abundance of creativity, inspiration, knowledge, um, finances, if that's what you're looking for, or wealth, um, or health, if that's what you're looking for. You're ready to receive um, in order to create a new beginning for yourself and share A little bit more clarification. You are, again, as I said, you're ready to receive this abundance. You are open and you're living in your present moment. You are grounded and you're ready to receive. You are in the same mode. Um, participation and listening and go and postponing. So, There's something you are participating in that is trying to let go of because this participation is causing a postponement of your abundance. Well, let me check you in the next part here. I said earlier, you are present. Thank you. 